Hello, 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 hello everyone. I hope you are doing well. My name is Sayyam and welcome back to the channel, right? Today, we're gonna solve this interesting maximum product split binary tree problem. Uh, this problem is interesting. This seems hard at the first glance, but trust me guys, it is not. I would rate this problem 8 out of 10. Good problem, some good observation and if you crack that observation, it's job done. The question becomes very, very simple. The code is very, very simple. Right. With that note, let's get started with the video. Yeah. If before that, if you're new to the channel, make sure you to subscribe to the video and like like the video. Then see. Let's get started. Then, given the root of the binary tree, split the binary tree into two subtrees. I hope you know what is a subtree. A subtree is a part of a tree which you can just like break it off and it becomes a subtree. Like left for example, this is our tree. Subtree is a general concept, not restricted to binary tree. But yeah, let's say this, I break it off. So this is entire is a subtree. Okay. Removing one edge, the product of the sum of the subtree is maximized. So what we have to do, we have to divide the entire tree into two subtrees. Means you have to break an edge. There, thereafter, it won't be a single tree. It would be two trees, something like that. So what do you have to do? Take the sum of this. Take the sum of this and you have to multiply them and you have to maximize that product. Okay, that you have to do. Return the maximum product of the sums, like whatever is the maximum, what you have to return. Remember that you have to return modulo 10 power minus 7, but but they already specified you have to maximize the answer first, then take the modulus because it may happen, right? Modulo, after taking modulo, the product becomes smaller. So, right, so firstly take the maximum, then take the final return the answer with the modulo 10 power minus 1 plus 7. Perfectly fine. For example, this. This is the tree we have like one, two, three, and it's like four, and it's like five, and it's like six. There are multiple ways. What are the ways you can cut off? You can cut off here, 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 and then you can sort of do that. Right. So let's try to see if we cut off here, what happens? If what we if we cut off here, 9, 11, <coughs> 11 into the sum 10, it turns out to be 110. Let's try to cut another way. Let's try to cut here. So if we cut here, so what will happen? This sum, this sum is like 4, 4, 5, 9, 11, and 12, 12 into uh, 9, which is 1, 0, it's slightly lesser. Okay. Let's try to cut maybe here. So if we cut here, so what happens if you do the sum 9, 11, 12, 15, 90? So it will can try out all the possible ways you can cut out here also here also the maximum sum turns out to be 110 so we have to return this now how to get this okay many people may think that sayam you have already told that we have to try out all possible edges what we can do we can try out all cutting all possible edges and can we do something about that uh like we make an entire new tree then you calculate the sum may be many people may think of some complex ideas that let's try to cut every edge and then what you can do you can obviously they create two new trees and then calculate the sum calculate the product mm -hmm. uh that would have been tedious and also time complexity won't allow us because the number of nodes are n so you have to calculate and the answer in o of n your solution went up to o of n square because every edge you are cutting then you're calculating the sum it is not possible right it's o of n we have to do somehow okay okay that also we got the hint somehow what what we are doing let's try to see let's try to see and observe it key what we require what we have and what we require so this is the tree what we are concerned with now we have cut at a particular node okay okay Means if we are at a particular node also, we can cut off them somehow, okay. We can cut. But then tell me one thing. Can we calculate this sum? Can we calculate this sum? The sub tree sum of the current node. Can we calculate this? Uh, yeah, this is a standard problem. If you don't know about it, no problem. I will tell you. But uh, this is a standard problem. We can calculate the sub tree sum. But the problem is, how would we get this? above sum it's very difficult to get because we don't know now we can calculate the beneath tree sum the total sum we can calculate it <coughs> but we can cal cannot calculate this oh many people may get the idea from here what i'm trying to refer to 
प्रॉब्लम बॉइल्स डाउन टू टू थिंग्स कैलकुलेट द टोटल सम of the tree i mean all the nodes the another thing is subtree sum subtree sum at every node at every node many people may think oh this may also lead to tle because it could go to n square no will lead a cofn solution we'll see at every uh, node you can say that now total sum i think it's very easy to calculate you can just use any traversal any traversal go there and just calculate the sum using the recursion standard you can use in order you can use pre order you can use post order so what you can do it's pretty straight forward let's try to calculate the calculate some total so what you going to do let's write the solve function for that you just need the pre node star root nothing else you require or one more thing the variable to store the sum let's say we name it sum we we give by reference because we are taking it right so we are not returning anything okay let's try to think about the base cases let's try to think about what we are essentially doing. we are just iterating right and every node we are at currently node at we just try to take the an add at towards some so this means what is the base case obviously root is none that is the base case so we just need to return from here we don't need anything remember that we are not returning the values we are just returning uh, we are just traversing right we are void we are doing now what do you do we are at, here you are at the current node i hope you know that how to traverse in a tree here at this position you are at the current node so obviously what do you want to do you want to take the sum so sum plus equals to uh, root well it's pretty straight forward right and then what are you going to do you can call recursion you can call right first you can call left first it's your job like your way whatever you want to do so you can call root dot left then sum then similarly call root dot right and then sum okay this is how you can calculate the total sum of the tree i hope you are getting it in this sum means you have passed by reference you have calculated the total sum good good job now how to calculate this subtree sum that is very very interesting to think about okay remember this structure the structure is very very important what we want let's try to draw the tree again if i can take it oh no sure Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, right? One, two, three, four, five, and six. Try right? to observe one pattern. If we are this current node, is there anything uh, else? No, there is null. There is nothing. Actually, there is null. Is there? Right? There is null. Is there? Hmm. So what we want? Somehow we want to calculate the sum from the left child, then calculate the sum from the right child, and then rate. the on the sum obviously included the current thing that's how you can calculate the subtree sum board. so here it will obviously return 4 from here is building the intuition that how we can calculate the subtree sum then here again same thing no, nothing from left nothing from right 5 so it will return from 5 okay right right then if we talk about this 2 the left is returning us 4 the right is returning us 5 The total will return us what four plus nine plus two, which is what eleven. Okay, okay, that does make sense. Similarly, from here, nothing is from here, so it will return six. From right, nothing is there. From left, six is there. So what are you gonna do? Return six plus three nine from here. Right. Okay, okay. And then finally, you just need to return the sum eleven plus nine twenty one. Perfect. Perfect. Does make sense. Does make sense. Does make sense. Right. This is how you can calculate the subtree every node. Just calculate from the left recursively, calculate from the right recursively, add up the current node value, and just return. This is the subtree sum of the current node. Just need to take a bit. Let's try to take it. Right. So what we can do? It's pretty simple. So what we can do is just we write the again a solve to function, or you can say a max product, max product. 
we need to calculate okay so what we require again our tree node star is required root is required always uh root is required other than that uh what whether what other thing is required um we require a maxi variable so that we can store the maximum product and the total sum obviously we require the total nothing else is required let's try to think about it now let's try to think about it we are what is the base case obviously null so what we have to we have to return from here zero i hope you are because the, if the node is null there is no subtree so the subtree sum we are returning is zero oh, it's not void sorry this time it is in we are returning the subtree sum so if root that's how you solve the binary tree equation always think about base cases and then you will able to solve it easily return zero perfect perfect means you got a null value you got a zero because there is no sum associated with the subtree now let's try to think about it what we need to do we need to calculate the first firstly we have to calculate the subtree sum then we can do the operation first calculate s subtree sum then we will maximize the product because we have to take it sum first so sub we have to initialize the subtree sum let's say it's subtree with the initial root well, node value root obviously obviously you're thinking right this is the current node we are associated with we got the current value now before calculating anything let's try to call the recursion first because we need to calculate the subtree sum first then we'll apply the operations so subtree plus equals to solve equals to you can say that uh, max product again max product you call recursively you call recursively root dot left the child right it will calculate the sum from the subtree of the left child the complete subtree maxi remains maxi and total remains total similarly or you can say that subtree plus equals to max product root dot right because we are calculating from the see this is returning the subtree sum this is returning the subtree sum maxi and total now we have to do we now contain the current subtree sum of the current node now we have s so what we want to do remember that what we have reduced here here this is the subtree sum is right so we just need to maximize the st minus s so maxi equals to max of maxi comma remember that subtree the current subtree sum multiply by remove this subtree sum from the total that is the remaining tree sum total minus subtree and boom your job is done and obviously we have to return this subtree subtree from here because this is the you are returning from every node right the subtree sum you are returning from the current node and boom your job is done the so maximizing this by passing the reference and you can just return this max this is all guys this is all it's pretty straight forward we can try to dry run this example also but i have already dry run this example at okay what how it is happening it is like returning 0 then 4 then returning 4 from here right and then from 5 nothing from left nothing from right zero zero it is getting so obviously it will return 5 itself when the two node is returning 4 plus 5 plus 2 9 itself and this is how you can draw the recursion and visualize remember that every time i am going at the node single once only that's why the time complexity is often that's how we calculate the recursion time complexity of a binary tree see there how many time you are going to a particular node i am just traversing the particular node nothing else you are doing i am just calculating with that the subtree sum beyond i am not going again and co again calling some mega recursion it's single recursions of over all the trees going i am iterating and visiting the node every node only once that is very very important that's why the time complexity is over nothing space complexity required and it is over let me just quickly show you the code also so that you can understand it better it's pretty straight forward so what are you going to do you going to get the max product that is the your the final function you firstly calculate the total sum of the tree using the calculate sum function it's pretty simple it's just iteration or you can any traversal you can use i just use i think in order 
traversal or pre-order traversal. Right. So this it is like node left right. Right. I guess it is pre-order. I just remember exactly. But yeah, you can use anyone. <coughs> Calculate some route. Some obviously base case. If you just null is there, return from there because there is no node, no sum associated with that. Otherwise, just sum the root val current node. Go to the left. Go to the right. Keep on iterating. Calculate the total sum. Once you have the total sum, you have to calculate the maxi. Obviously, you have to again pass it to the solve function. So what are you gonna do? The subtree sum of a null node obviously is zero. Nothing is there. Then you calculate the subtree sum of the current node by initializing with the current node value. Then go to the left. Go to the left subtree. Calculate the sum from there. Get from here. Recursion will do. No need to worry. Go from the right. Recursion will do. No need to worry. The right, right child, the right subtree. Entire left subtree, the entire right subtree, and the current node. When you gonna do this is left, and this is right. Okay, and then nothing but you just need to maximize. We already formed the equation. This is nothing but subtree into total minus subtree, right? You just need to maximize. I just made one one long long because it can go beyond the integer in. So you just need to make sure that max is long long, and we'll take the mod after at the end, and then just return the subtree. Pretty straightforward. Okay. Because you have to return the subtree sum because we are doing using this function, we are doing that itself. And then finally take the mod and return. I hope you understood the entire intuition, the thought process, and you learned something new out of it. And yeah, make sure you to subscribe to the video if you like the video and share with your friends. We'll see you in the next video then. Till then keep learning. Goodbye.